I think it's remarkable that he creates these images, you know, using the means that he uses, this sort of mark making, and to create an image that really translates or communicates some interior aspect of an individual. It's the way he lays on the paint and the way he juxtaposes the kinds of strokes together that I think gives you a, a, a real feeling about the personality of the artist. He's really bounced back in an incredible way and luckily has the ability to still paint and create. The great painting we have, which is behind me here, of uh, his portrait of his mother-in-law. It's called Fanny Finger Painting. This specific technique is uh, a really development of a singular style uh, that moved American realism into a new level. I think he's one of the very interesting and significant artists of our time. Chuck, both through his work and his personality, causes people to enjoy him and therefore I think that what he says uh, can be influential with a broader public. He takes Polaroid pictures, quite large. It's like this bazooka camera that hits you. I mean, it's very frontal and it's very, you know, it's powerful. The photograph that Chuck took of me which could have been, I think, about 1970 or 71. The idea of those pictures at that time, as he explained it to me, I don't know if he remembers it the same way, was that he was wanting to do portraits of, of people that were not well known. That I, he took a lot of pictures the same day. Almost everyone he took a picture of became very well known. Chuck Close has, uh, throughout his entire life, uh, spoken for the rights of artists and for their freedom of expression in that work. I spend a lot of my time uh, working with Capitol Hill, testifying, going up there, advocating, and it's great to know that uh, Chuck Close has done that as well, and that we have that, that partnership of uh, artists and advocates working together to make uh, art something that every American can have access to. Often people say, Will this artist be successful and be heard of in two or three decades? Will they still be important to the you know, march of art history? And I think Chuck will be. 